Greetings, everyone. In my morning meditation, I was having a kind of reflection on the blessings in my life and how they manifest themselves. And as I was reasoning with the Spirit, you know, I came to document seven ways in which we can block our blessings. Number one, pride. See, the door of opportunity often comes. It's open to you, but many times you turn it away. Um, whether it be gifts um, of money or kind, you will do your most to block your blessings by not accepting the fact that sometimes your blessings can come through people who you perceive to be less than you. Um, when these divine moments come in, when the help comes your way, you turn it away. You've been praying and you haven't told anybody that you're praying for these things. And suddenly it comes to you or it's sent to you, but it because it doesn't come through the channel that you imagine it would arrive, you do not accept it. You know, they say, do not look in the expression, do not look in uh, a gift horse's mouth or something similar to that. And so in the past, I've had people who wanted to bless me and I would say no because of my pride. Of course, because sometimes I have problems with trust and I don't know who people are. And when they come, you know, bearing gifts, sometimes it makes me very nervous. But at the same time, there's a way to find out if these persons, there's a true test to find out if these gifts are coming, you know, with purity and good intention. And so I won't block my blessings in the future because of my pride. Number two, ego. You believe that it is your strength and your ability to make things happen or to produce the positive results you want all the time. But sometimes these are there are these guiding lights or angels that are coming to bless you and they can come in any form. But you are not humble and you have to be humble. You have to always stop yourself from looking at yourself as if you are better than others or others are beneath you. Stop looking down on people. Stop seeing people or stop perceiving people to be less than you. If you continue in this path, those you perceive to be less than you will always rise above you or rise above your station in life. Okay, so you have to just take it down a notch and not allow the ego to take root. Number three, greed. You're never satisfied. No matter what anyone does for you, it is never enough. When help comes your way, you always think of ways how you can trick and deceive people who are kind to you. You will always find yourself figuring ways how you can seduce and reduce other person's worth. It is your main goal. You lie about your health. You lie about your children's situation. You try to get favor by calling down negative things upon you. And if by calling down these negative things because you're seeking or want more, what you're essentially doing is calling down suffering. These lies you tell to get ahead because of your greed eventually becomes your portion. That is, anything you say is happening to you. So you can get favor or whether money or kind, it will eventually happen to you because you speak it. Therefore, you manifest it. Number four, ungratefulness. These individuals are wicked. No matter how many people bless them, they always end up betraying everyone and disrespecting the ones who've been there with them or, you know, to bless them. And so you block your blessings with your ungratefulness. People will do a lot more for you, but because you're ungrateful, they will back off and leave you to your own demise. Your inability to show gratitude is the reason why you've blocked your blessing. Number five, dishonesty. You cannot be trusted because you are a liar and a thief. 
you find people will trust you because you have a nice personality. They're drawn to you. They'll trust you. They'll want to get into business with you. They'll ask you to do favors for them because you come across as a decent person. But what is referred to as finger cement is you. No matter how kind people are to you, you're going to try to find a way to pinch them some kind of way. And you do not just use it for your betterment. Your level of dishonesty is top tier. You look boldly into people's face and lie to them about things that you fail to realize can be verified. And so your level of cunning only works to prevent you from growing. I ask you to do a favor, for example, with the intention of blessing you afterwards, but your dishonesty or your dishonest disposition gets the best of you and you stifle your blessings. Number six, lost. You, lo you want what someone else has. This is the story of a lot of people who can't wait their turn. Flesh is your main focus. And so as you don't have the ability to rein in your flesh, your fleshly desires, you have to have it. And oftentimes you want it because it belongs to someone else. And you cannot control yourself. So lust can take any form. It doesn't just have to be in a sexual nature. It just can be about this insatiable appetite you have to have what doesn't belong to you or have something that you should just not try to go after or to satisfy the longing in your flesh. Number seven. And this is the last one. I'm trying to remember if I did envy. Okay, I think envy is the last one. Yes, back home they say, bad mind. You're never happy for other person's success. If it's possible, you'll block the blessings of others. And you come across as a friend most times, but you are one of those dangerous kinds. You'll be the kind that will speak negatively about your friend to their partner or anyone who you perceive could open doors for them. Even if you would not do what these individuals will do to gain their or achieve their success, you will still want to see them not do well. Jealousy gets the best of you in every circumstances. And because you're so bad mind, because you're so jealous, you know, you block your blessings. Uh, the people you often try to block with your, you know, envy, enviousness, you know, will always rise above your station in life. And you will always be a very bitter person. You will always perceive yourself to be unlucky, failing to realize that is these attitudes that I've listed that has blocked your blessing. There is no curse on your life except the one you brought up on yourself. There is no, you know, some of us have these wicked ways about us and we think people are doing things in the spiritual realms to destroy us, to stop us, where you are the one with the own bad mind, you know, the enviousness, the greed, the dishonesty, um, the lust, and all these things that I've mentioned in this video, you have stood in your own way of prosperity. Some of you are friends to people that love you. And when you're doing well, they're happy for you. And when you see them doing well, you're not. You withdraw yourself because they show you some simple thing, simple thing that makes them happy. For example, someone could just love doing gardening. You're not at all interested in that. If you were to purchase a house, your dream home would be a place filled with concrete. And yet someone has, someone has something, you know, a place, a place, a little spot of land where they plant their food or they plant their garden. And you, you hate these individuals for something that you yourself don't want. You're not interested in that guy or that girl. But because your friend has this person making them happy, you're so envious of that. These things are wicked traits and um, none of us are perfect. If you find that you 
fall under any of these headlines, do something about it. Change. We all can work to become better people. Change your ways. For me, one of the big pet peeves for me is dishonesty. People who are dishonest. I have trusted people a lot in my life. And when I trust them and they betray that trust, it's heartbreaking for me, to be honest with you. you but I see how that will block blessings. I've had big plans for people in my life. People that I associate or, or deal with. And when they double cross me, I say to myself, I wish you knew the plans I had for you. Too bad. And then I have met people like myself who would use pride and block our blessings. And I say, listen, look carefully at that. I says that because when the blessings come to you and you reject them, don't think they're coming back. You're rejecting the spirits and what they had in, plan in store or had as plans for your life. Stay blessed, everyone.